Hey everyone, it's Arturo here. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you the Pareto Principle and how you can apply that to business. And Vilfredo Pareto is an Italian economist who came up with the Pareto Principle. And the Pareto Principle is the 80-20 rule. And this is what we're gonna talk about today. And we're gonna talk about how we can apply the 80 20 rule to business. And so, what the 80 20 rule states is that 80% of the efforts produce 20% of the results. And so, <clears throat> what I found in, in my research is you know, four different uh, scenarios where the 80 20 rule was applied, which made me think, well, how can I apply this to business when I'm helping my clients? And so what I found is that 80% of the sales are done by 20% of the clients. And 80% of all wealth is held by 20% of the people. And the inverse of that is 20% of all the clothes you own you wear them 80% of the time. And 20% of the producers make 80% of the sales. And so um, this is very important because with this principle, we can use this to reverse engineer success. And uh, another theory that I, that I learned um, here recently is something called the 100 units of time, which basically states that at any given moment, you only have 100 units of time and energy. And so what I get my, my clients to do is to really take some time and figure out where your time and energy is going. And so for that reason, um, I have these <clears throat> graphs here, and I'm gonna walk through um, the different stages and how you can really reverse engineer the 80-20 principle to kind of get to your goals and exceed them above and beyond. And so here um, in this first graph, this is gonna be 100 uh, units of time. And I have this broken up and this is admin, which is gonna be answering emails, it's gonna be doing paperwork or making phone calls. And then over here is gonna be closing your money generating activities, where you're in meetings or on phone calls. <clears throat> um, and at the end of those, you're uh, asking people to take action. And then over here is prospecting. And this is where um, you're cold calling, networking, asking for referrals, things that are gonna generate closes. And so for the average producer, you spend 20% of your time doing administrative work, 20% of your time doing closes, and 60% of your time prospecting. And so when we look at this, we notice that there's a, a huge disparity in prospecting to closing. And so the first thing that I notice is, is that where's the money generating activity? It's in closing. How do we 80-20 um, this? Well, there's something that I want to introduce today that you may not be familiar with, and that's called leverage. And so how do we use leverage to go from having 60% of our time in prospecting that doesn't generate any income and get that over to money generating activities? And for a lot of my clients, um, they've leveraged the new client accelerator and what that's allowed them to do is cut this number in half and spend more of their time over here. And so this is a chart of the pretty good producer. And so now that they've leveraged um, their prospecting, they're gonna spend 50% of their time or 50 units of their time closing 
still spending 20 units of time doing admin work, but now they're only spending 30 units of time prospecting. So now that they've used leverage, they're gonna spend 50% of their time closing. And so in a very short time, just looking at this and implementing this um, process, they have just two X'd their opportunities to produce more and make more money. And so what we wanna do is, we wanna keep iterating this process until we can get this to 80-20. Now, I don't want you to, to miss the, the importance of this because in a very short time, we went from spending 60 units of time and only 20 units of time and, and closing to now we're spending 50 units of time closing and only 30 units of time in prospecting. And the more that you do this, the more production you're gonna have, the more money you're gonna make, um, the faster you're going to learn, the higher of level of confidence you're going to have, and getting people to take action is, is going to become something that is a part of a standard for you, where you're able to close people in one to two meetings. And so we want to repeat this process over and over again, and here's where this gets very, very powerful. So now that we're spending 50 units of time, which is two and a half times what we were doing before, now we're able to leverage this money to maybe hire some, someone to, to do more of the prospecting, which then would allow us to have more time in closes, right? So now we would be spending 80 units of time in closing. and 20% in admin. So here we have just repeated this process and now we have 4 x and leveraged our time and our money. And so if you think that your production went up four times and your money went up four times and you have more time and it's to spend in closes, do you think that you could probably hire someone to do your admin for you? Yeah, for sure you could. And this is what the elite are doing. And so once we repeat this process again and we hire someone to do our admin work, this is where it becomes very, very powerful. And this is what the top 1% are doing. They're spending 100% of their time closing. Yeah. You want to spend 100% of your time doing money generating activities. And if you repeat this process over and over again and keep reiterating it um, and leveraging either your time or your money, you can end up being in that top 1%. So I hope this was helpful. Um, take some time, you know, take some action. Don't be one of those people. Sit down and figure out what your 100 units of time are made up in your business and then start to implement some of this that way that you can leverage your time and money to end up being that top 1%. Thank you.